In this video, I'm going to take you through how to start using the iPad for our studio. That's what we're going to be using this year for the Higher Applications course. We're going to be using our studio on our iPads. The first thing that we need to do before we start using our studio through the iPads, we need to make sure that we've got the data sets saved onto the iPad so that they can then upload them. So for example, if you have a task set on Google Classroom, which is where I am just now, what you need to do is click onto the assignment or the task and you'll notice that we've got these CSV files. Those are the files that contain the data sets that you're going to be using, you're going to be running code for in our studio. So what we need to do is just select the one that we are going to use. So for example, if I select pulse rates, if I click on pulse rates, you can see up the top right hand side, we've got a little arrow icon um, that if we press that, so it's the far right icon that will open up the document in Google Chrome, hopefully. It may come up a couple of options. You need to make sure that you're opening it through Google Chrome. Next step is to press the three buttons, the three dots in the right hand side. And what we want to then press is open in. This then takes the CSV file and we can then transfer that into of our own files on the iPad. So we hit save to files. What we need to make sure that we do is click on my iPad. If you don't already have a folder called RStudio Docs, what you need to do is click the little plus folder icon and create a new folder. Once you've done that, simply select that folder, click on it and hit save. Okay, now I've already saved that file on my iPad anyway so I'm just going to hit stop because I've already saved that file. Let's try another file so I'm just going to go back I'm now on the uh, off the Google Classroom onto the main screen for that now I just need to select one of the CSV files again so let's look at the rainfall CSV file so you can see when you open it up you've got um, a table, in this case it's different ones and the amount of rainfall, we need to then get that saved onto the iPad so that we can then upload it onto the RStudio software. So again, I'm clicking that button in the top right hand side, open it through, opening it through Google Chrome, pressing the three dots, top right hand side, open in, and then I can save that to my files, RStudio Docs, and hit save again i've already got that one saved already so i'm just going to be hitting um, that i can just replace that or stop that so once we've got the documents that are required saved onto the ipad we then need to access our studio now our studio is accessed via the glow platform so you require your glow login you simply click on the glow section and you need to input your details and then it will show you the launch pad that I've got here. The site that we're getting our studio from is called Notable. So we're on a launch pad. It will be Lab at High School. We have to scroll down to this Notable Live app and we click on that. When we click on that, we'll get a message asking us what type of software we want. We select our studio and once you've done that, this screen will appear here. So this is the RStudio software. What you can see on the left hand side is known as the console. That's where your code is going to appear once it's been run. Then down the bottom right hand side, we've got our section that shows what files we've got uploaded. It'll show us different plots, packages, etc. In the top right hand side, that'll show you the different data sets that you've actually got included so the variables that are actually included in the software package on our studio the ones that you've uploaded and 
to create a new script. So the script is where you start writing your code. There's two ways to do that. We can either hit file, new file and our script, or we can simply press just below file. We've got a wee plus icon and a blank sheet. Basically, we click that and then our script. And now we get this new one coming up. You can save these files as you're going along. At the moment, it's simply called untitled one. So now we can upload our data sets to this software. Down the right hand side, we need to make sure we've selected the files tab and then we want to click upload. Once I click upload, I then need to click choose file and browse or choose file depending. Sometimes it shows up differently, but we choose choose file and then browse or some, as I say, sometimes it says choose file, but it's the last option we're picking. And now those are the ones that I've got saved. As I say, I've then gone into my folders on my iPad, RStudio doc, and those are the ones that have been saved there. So if we take a look at the pulse rates one, it's now been added on top. So I can simply hit OK, and that's now going to upload. And you'll see that that's now appeared down the right hand side. However, at the moment, it's still not ready to actually be used for our studio. We need to do a little bit of commands, um, a bit of code for that. So in the left hand side, top left hand side, that's where we write down our script. So what we need to put is my data. Now this is something that is given to you, it's in the data booklet. All you need to do is copy that in. We need to type in my data. read.csv open bracket and then insert the name of the file. Now the name of the file was pulse rates. Now make sure you put the capital letters in. It's pulse rates dot csv. Make sure that you write exactly what is given for the name of the file. I then close the bracket and so long as my cursor is on any point of that line, if I hit the run button, it should run. Now I've just actually noticed I've missed out two wee bits there. You need to make sure you've got the wee speech marks included. Just realise I've missed that out. Okay, so double check for your code because it is very easy to make a mistake. Hit the run button and then hopefully that should pop up on the bottom so it's now on the console it's in blue it's not came up as red so that has worked you'll now see that on the right hand side we've got in the environment tab my data has been attached it says we've got 91 observations of eight different variables so the variables for pulse rates was things like activity level pulse one pulse two and so on lastly though we need to actually attach my data so that's adds the variable names to the system so again this is just another bit of code we've got to write attach open bracket my data close bracket and hit the run button again if we scroll down we can see that that is now in the section as required so if we click on the my data section so we can click on my data view my data i'm simply clicking on the my data box in the environment tab it now shows you the data that you've got uploaded so we've got pulse one pulse two run smokes gender and so on just before i end the video let's take a look at some of the stuff that we can do with this so we can create different plots on our studio using the data that's available okay scatter plots histograms and so on. So, for example, I could create a histogram of pulse rate 1 by copying this code in. Again, this is all provided in the data booklet. So, hist, open bracket, you replace any X's with the name of the variable. So, the variable was pulse 1. 
Just double check. Yep. Again, make sure you include the capital letters. Pulse 1. And it's comma. C-O-L equals yellow with the speech marks, comma, main equals histogram of, and again, instead of saying X, I'm going to say it's histogram of pulse rates. Essentially what we're doing here is wee bits like setting the colour and the title. And again, close the speech marks over. And bracket. Now again, just double check you've got that done exactly as is the case in the data booklet. And if your cursor is on that line and you hit run, let's see if that's worked. So you can see down the bottom left hand side, in blue, the code has kind of been accepted, if you like, and has been run correctly. No red error messages. And we can see that a plot has now appeared. So that's a histogram of the pulse rates. So we've got different intervals, and it shows you the frequency for each of those. And we do things like this to be able to tell how the data is distributed. So we could look at that graph and we could say, well... It kind of looks reasonably normally distributed. Maybe it's slightly skewed towards the right, but that's the kind of idea um, of why we can plot these things using RStudio. There's options to plot scatter plots, pie charts, etc. But that's how we get onto RStudio using the iPad. A slightly different approach to what it's taking using a computer. But once we've got it up and running, the software works as it would on a computer. So hopefully you can have a go for yourself, getting the data up on our studio, and then you can start running some of this code and practicing with our studio.